Look at him build the tower. Thanks to Discount Watts for sponsoring this video. We're in yet another location that you could potentially hang out at based on property that you buy. And the reason I say that is we're currently in Walt Disney World. However, there's a piece of property for sale. It's half an acre of land that's $60,000 at time of filming that is in Sanford that's only 45 miles away from here. So you can make a trek over here in less than an hour and enjoy all this. So Discount Lots is a place that you can purchase land cheap. It's property that they own. You take out the middleman, uh, you're buying direct from them. You choose the property. There's a ton of information on their website that lets you find the piece of property that best suits you. And with less than potentially $200 down, you can start making payments. The best part about all of this is once you click the button that you want to purchase the land online, it's nothing more than them contacting you and walking you through the process. Now, they always say, and I agree, go visit the property. But check it out online because there's lots of properties to look at. There's lots of information there to be had, such as the lot size, um, the, the actual parcel number. The website is super easy to use. Uh, there's a low down payment, um, no credit check. And like Michael said, um, you know, get the address, you can, you can visit it, do some research on it, you can call the county, you can call the city, find out anything you need to know about that property. It's the easiest way I know how that you can purchase property. So use the links to below and whenever you do that, make sure that you use the code DLRVDAYDREAM10 and you will get 10% off your first purchase. So it's a win-win. Hopefully you guys check that out because I think it's an easy way for you to become a homeowner uh, by first becoming a landowner. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a date. Again, one of the things that we try to stress to everybody is we're actually living in our RV full time. So there's times that we like to do little getaways, you know, and even though the park is kind of a getaway of its own, um, it's nice to come check out places like this. So you can read the sign there and it's just a beautiful location. It's gated uh, for you to even get in the joint. Uh, you have to show that you have a reservation and then you can see all the uh, little suites that are available. So, really nice place. So, after you check in, of course, they give you a map to your room. But look at the you know, waterfalls out there. It's really nice. There's uh, quite a bit of traffic here. Heidi's, they got a stop sign, not Heidi. Yeah. So, um, these are, it's a resort. So, this is the kind of thing that if you have uh, a timeshare or something like that, you, you would be and have the privileges to to stay in these places for a period of time well in our case we're just staying here for the night
much better than a hotel. So their deli is really good. That's nice. So they have really good food. All right, so we're on the bottom floor here, back in what is like a wooded area. It's really kind of creepy and cool at the same time because it is nice and cool this evening. And uh, we'll head into the room, show you what it looks like. Okay, that makes sense. We are B. It smells clean. Yeah. So, go ahead and close that. You can see here what the bathroom looks like. I'm sure there's some lights that I'm missing here, probably on the outside. So, wait a minute, flip that light. Flip this switch. Where? Oh. Yeah. So there's the shower. There we are. There is a hot tub or jacuzzi. There's a sink. Here's the bedroom. Let me get these clothes off. Kind of little tiny TV. <laughs> kind, of, kind of being skimpy on the TV, I think. And then, there's the other room, there's a dining area, and you have your whole stove, refrigerator, you know, it's a full-on kitchen. So this is, like I said, this is one of those places that you can just hang out at on a monthly basis or whatever if you've got a timeshare. Yeah. And we've got a little patio area, which you guys can't see at all. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to knock the roof off. So, yes, it's kind of cool. Our own little uh, patio area. Of course, we don't need the fan. It's cool. Yeah. It's real cool, to tell you the truth. So, yeah, this is a nice little area. Like I said, it's one of those things that you guys may want to look at whenever you decide you're going to uh, explore. And living full-time in the RV, like I said, doesn't mean necessarily that uh, you have to stay every night in the RV. Well, there's light switches everywhere. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Better than in the dark. Look how big the TV is out here, though. Yeah, this is nice. Right, right. Absolutely. Okay. Let's uh, get our night on. Good morning everyone, and now that it's daylight out, I can kind of show you a little bit more of what I was talking about here, because this was all dark. It's kind of nice having this little private patio, everybody has one. Kind of come out here in the morning and enjoy yourself. It is a little crisp this morning considering that we are in Florida and we did make a disaster of a mess in here we had some takeout food they do have a restaurant here um, I don't know what to say about that it's uh it's it's oh it does have like a full store and like how do you said a deli and it was okay um the french fries were great and uh actually i had chicken tenders and it was pretty good um but then later on after they had closed we were hungry so tgi fridays is right at the end of the street uh real easy drive so we went there but yeah this is um that's what it looks like a little bit in a little bit more more normal mode now from what i can tell as far as being here um it's an older setup um i i can't tell when heidi and i both come to the conclusion that we think uh other than with some of the appliances that are here 
that is probably done in like the 2000s maybe and I think it probably had a refresh at some point but anyways we just wanted to share this with you we've got to get back to the RV and all the stuff that comes along with that because we only have about a week here and then we've got to check out of here we got we got some more stuff to do we're heading over to Orlando